hey why do i do that i am going to stop that okay i'm gonna do this over again one more time okay hey gorgeous ones hey gorgeous ones I had to stop myself from doing that crazy wave I've been doing lately. I stopped it. I stopped myself. I'm so proud of myself. Hey, gorgeous ones. How are you? Welcome to Aging Gorgeously. And today, you know, um, I just decided I came home from a nice date. I talked about it in my Onyx Box unboxing, which I'll put in the cards up here. But anyway, I just came back from a... Um, a date and I decided I'm a film now I know my my makeup isn't perfect this is like I want to say 14 hour makeup face okay so anyway and the hair is doing something and I'm honestly thinking about locking it I don't know what do you all think I'm thinking up I'm just tired of my hair I mean I'm tired of it I'm thinking about locking it but the thing is, is, I don't know if I can commit to the lock and I might lock it and then want to unlock it in two years just to give myself a break. I don't know. I'm thinking about it and I can unravel them in two years. So what do y'all think? Should I lock my hair? Y'all tell me what y'all think. For real. I want to know your thoughts on that. Okay. But anyway, so today I was going to, I've been thinking about, and I was looking at my makeup collection the other day, and I was noticing that there are some brands that I have really fallen in love with in 2017. I love them. And some of them I had never even heard of before this year. So I thought I would share like some of my favorite brands and maybe a couple of the things I like by them. Maybe that's what we should do. Okay. But anyway, if you like this type of video, come on and stay in. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe so you can hang out with me. Subscribe. So subscribe. We do. I upload about three times a week. And, you know, I don't know. I'm not good at this whole come on, subscribe. So, you know, if you like it here, just go ahead and subscribe. If you, you know, watch and say the bitch is crazy. Okay, fine. See you later. Go on to watch somebody else. Just don't leave me some nasty comment. Because we're, as I love y'all all. All right. So let's talk about brands that I have fallen in love with in 2017. Okay, we're back. So let's talk about brands that I have fallen in love with in 2017. Now, interestingly enough, as I was looking over the list, all of, uh, most of these brands are, pre are pretty affordable. A lot of them, you know, yeah, they're pretty affordable. Nothing, you know, it's a great pricing and it's interesting. And, and I think part of the reason why is because for so many years, I was just like, Oh, Oh, I don't mess with that stuff. I was like the bougie, I was one of the bougie princesses of makeup. I was like, Oh, it's gotta be Mac. Oh, it's gotta be urban decay. Oh, it's gotta be this. If I spent some money and for a long time, I was not even spending the way I do on makeup. I was, you know, I was doing other things, but anyway, so let's, so here's a few of the things that I really love and I brought out some of my favorite products. Yes. All right, all right. So let's talk about, the first one is going to be Elf. And I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, yeah, we've been hearing about Elf ever since you started this damn channel. But let me tell you why. Because for years, Elf was that cheap little brand that was at like Target and Walmart. And I was like, oh, that's for kids. What is that, when you start out in makeup, it's $2? Oh, not for Lulu, not for this chick. And then I was watching YouTube and people were talking about it. And honestly, my daughter bought some Elf and then she gave me the Mad for Matt and I played with it. And I was like, oh, oh, I love this stuff. And then I went on their website and I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna try some stuff. And I was watching videos and I heard people talking about it. I said, okay, damn it, Lou. Lou get you some and this is what started it all this man for man so if you've been on here for a while you know i love the man for man formula and they just brought out the brights and i've got to get them oh my god have you all seen them and the other thing i really love about elf is there is a couple things i brought out too so the man for mats of course of course why is there hair in here and i love their brushes I absolutely adore their brushes. They're some of the best affordable brushes and sport. And here's the alert. Elf is always having 50% off sales. And so the affordable brushes become even more affordable. 
So here's two of my favorites. And as you can see, this is obviously a favorite because this is supposed to be white. This is the pointed powder brush. And I use this for obviously bronzer because it just hits right where I need it to. Yeah, like a bronze with the with the residue on here. It's time to wash this dang old thing. Okay, that one. And then my other jam is this crease brush. Now let me tell you, if you need a crease brush, this is awesome because it's it's a very fluffy. It's kind of fluffy. Oh, and it feels so good in the crease, and it it's very precise. So when you're doing precise work in your crease, this is a great brush, and it's three dollars. So I love that. And now my new thing with Elf is these. These are the shimmer powders, the highlighting powders, and this is the one of the brand new colors. This is an Island Glow. It's something about this color that I love. It's just a beautiful sheen. Now, these are not those blinding highlighters. You can build them up a little bit, but they're more of that. They're more of that little shimmer sheen that makes you look like it, you're going from within. Or, you know, it doesn't look like, oh, Sheena just slapped her face with highlighter. It looks very good and natural. And this color is like this peachy color. And I don't know, I love it. I absolutely love it. I, I really do. All right. Oh, shoot. All right. Next up is Maybelline. Now, I got once I'm going to say this again. Growing up as a 50 year old black woman, Maybelline was not marketed to me growing up. It was Cheryl Teague's. It was like, maybe it's Maybelline. And they were all blonde hair and blue eye. So it was not marketed to me. So I never thought of Maybelline. But now I adore Maybelline. Maybelline is a great drugstore brand. They have good quality. You know, the color, the lipsticks, the pigmentation is off the chain. You know, I, I really do like them as a brand. So two of my favorite things, of course, is the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is beautiful on the skin. And then um, next, and then I also love the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It is finely milled. And it just sinks into your skin and it melts into it and makes it gives you this beautiful smooth finish and the part of the reason why I really like the fit me loose finishing powders is because they do have translucent but they also have colors so this I have it in medium um, and I like it because sometimes you need to like fix your foundation if it's too light if it's too dark and so this one is a little bit darker than me so like if I have on some foundation that's a little light to me I can put this on and it'll give me a, a, a more natural looking finish to my skin so that's what I love those for um, another one and I had never ever heard of this brand is Essence <clears throat> And Essence is sold exclusively at Ulta. No, you can get it at Target too. And I had never heard of this brand. I was like, oh, okay. But I was in the store and this lady said, get this mascara. And it was this one, the False Lashes Mascara. Oh my God. Essence makes some of the best affordable mascara. I love this and I do love the Lash Princess. I have this one. I have another one. And uh, the only thing I would say about these is that they do, they will you know give you that raccoon eye so you have to watch them they are oh they can like you know smudge so i have to watch it when i wear those and then of course i love the highlighters and i especially like this light up your face luminizer palette it has a great color for me i'm just being honest i get i use it for this if the whole palette was maybe i think five or six dollars so it's worth it you know for one color i'm okay with that and i it's one of those everyday um highlighters that you can wear this one in particular is the one that i wear and it's a it's a very nice beautiful everyday little you know not very subtle highlighter and if y'all know anything about me i prefer the subtle highlighters i will wear a glowy one but on an everyday basis i prefer something like these two so those are the two that i love and then um i also have fallen in love with this company called Nip Fab. Now, I happened to see these in Ulta and they were on sale and I was like, oh, let me try it. Now, I'm gonna tell you, this is one of my favorite serums and it's very inexpensive. This is the Nip and Fab No Needle Fix Serum. And it really does minimize your pores. It's, and it's a very gentle serum because some serums can be a little stingy on the skin. This is a very gentle one. Let me show you guys. It's a... The consistency 
it's very creamy you know and most serums are pretty oily where this is a pretty creamy one and when it goes on the skin it's very um, gentle to the skin where some are a little more harsh your serums this is a very gentle one but it does do what it says no it does minimize the pores it minimizes fine lines and it does it really well really quickly and then also I love the nip fab glycolic fix overnight purifying gel I use this twice a week and if you have not seen it I will put link in the cards right here my um, nighttime skin skin care routine and this is part of it when I do my gly glycolic night and you put this on and this is the last thing I put on no and then I put my oil on over it and I promise you this clears my skin up something beautiful and so my skin is looking like yes love yes and so that's why I love this stuff right here um, I've also fallen in love with BH cosmetics I had never really heard of them. You know what? I ain't gonna lie. I seen them and they out and I always saw them big huge palettes they did. And I was like, now that shit got to be cheap. Y'all got 72 colors for $7. Okay, no thank you. I don't want you. But I don't know if they've gotten better. But they they really, their eyeshadows are really on point. And that's pretty much what I buy from them. I do have a highlighting palette. I need to go back and start using it. And this one is right here is their Pro Artistry palette. And I am going to do a full review on it because I, I, I really do like it. There's some pros and some cons. But I love their formula. It's very buttery. It's not a whole lot of fallout. And they blend very well. So I really do love their formula of eyeshadows. And then finally, finally. If y'all don't know I like this by now, because I've been talking about them for the last few months, it's Miss Juvia. It's Juvia's place, because I now own every last eyeshadow palette. If you would like me to do some reviews or anything, just let me know. But anyway, the Juvia's place eyeshadow palettes, I absolutely adore them. And these are, I think these are my two favorites right now. I think it's going to move around, but right now I love these. I love the Magic palette. I love the Deuce. This is brand new, just came out. I got it the other day. I love this palette. Huh, oh, it's so gorgeous. It's very subdued for her, for Miss Juvia, but it's gorgeous. And then this magic palette. Oh mama. Oh mama. Look at those colors. Oh mama. They are just gorgeous. The only thing I want to say, and if anybody wants to take this to Juvia, Miss Juvia's place, Juvia, if you could do a beautiful matte like the magic about 16 shades of beautiful jewel tone mattes and cool ones and warm ones. I could see like burgundy ones. I could see a burgundy matte, a beautiful bright vibrant red matte, a beautiful um, gray, silvery gray, no gray matte, a dark gray and then a light gray. Oh, an olive green because I love me some green. I don't know what's going on with me and green, but I love green. A nice olive green, maybe a green like this plant back here. All matte palette. Juvia, we need it from you. We need it. I'm just asking. Somebody knows her. Say that's what we need. Okay. So that's it. That's, oh, I almost forgot one. Color pop. Now, I do like their eyeshadows. I haven't used everything because ColourPop just keeps bringing out new shit. But I am a fan of their lip colors. I love the liquid lips, especially the Ultra Satin Matte, Ultra Satin Lip, more than the Ultra Matte. And I've just started getting the lippy sticks, and I love these lippy sticks too. I think their formulation is so wonderful, and it's a very affordable. And spoiler alert, they always have them on sale because I've never paid full price for the ColourPop lips that I have right here and if you all would like to see anything about them my favorite color pop colors I could do a whole video on that if you've seen anything that you want me to go more in depth in just let me know and uh, that's it that's all that's all I got for today so I'm done and I hope you enjoyed it and if you like to give it a thumbs up if you have some um, new products that you found out that you've loved in 2017 let me know about them especially if you learned about them from me i would love to know if i have turned you on to anything new this year please put it in the comments i would just love to know if i'm actually like people are listening to me that would be awesome 
thank you so much. You have a great day and may life treat you kind. Bye-bye.